What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with me, your boy Iggy. Today, I figured we would do something with these horses so they're not just in this little dinky pen over here, just kind of out of the way. Um, I figured we would get a uh, stable put in, and that way we can also do something about the mass amounts of uh, llamas that are all over the place over in the... Uh, the rest of the base so i figured we would put it right back here and then just kind of have a nice big red stable and i figured for the block palette we would be using oak logs red terracotta wouldn't mind a bunch of that and then for the base a mixture of tough mossy cobble and regular cobble because these blocks just look fantastic together like ah, i can't get enough of this combination everybody seems so just all about the uh the deep slate with this update and it's like i don't know i mean the deep slate's great don't get me wrong we used a ton of it for the uh the roof over there mainly because it was easy to get early game and uh is a great you know roof block with lots of variation to it but I gotta say, my favorite blocks are definitely, like, from the new update, are the Calcite, the Tuft, and the uh, Polished Basalt. I mean, even the uh, Amethyst block is pretty fantastic, but anyways, that being said, uh, I figured I would go ahead and kind of get, do some, like, measurements and get, like, just kind of a base uh, uh, markers, that's what I was looking for. Get some markers down on where things are going to go. And then kind of uh, be able to give you guys an idea of what the uh, design plan is. So I'm going to go and um, do the like the measurements and get like where the uh, the beams are going to go. And then from that, I can kind of explain the uh, the design. So I'll be back in just a sec. OK, so as usual, we did things in odds. So we've got, you know, our corner block here with a five block gap in between. And there's three sections of five here. And then one section of seven right here that's going to be one of the main entrances. There's going to be a way in on each of the four uh, cardinal directions. So a big main entryway that way and that way, and then some smaller ones on the uh, sides there. And then again, it just do or mirrors over here on the other side with uh, the three sections of five. And then over here, there is a section of five where the uh, exit's going to be, which is a section of five and then another section of five, and then the back wall, which is a duplicate of the front. So it's basically the same on the front and the back, and then the two sides are going to be identical. And then what I was thinking is we would basically have, you know, kind of a, uh, the lower blocks done with the uh, tough and the cobble and whatnot, and then the upper blocks done out of the... Um, uh, red terracotta and then we would have kind of an arch roof with a little kind of sticky up bit with another little kind of maybe arch on the top of that so it's hard to explain you'll have to see it as we uh, get it built but I figured we would hop into a time lapse for that and uh, try to knock it out relatively quick because it would take forever to do block by block and this video would be never ending so Let's hop into the time lapse just as soon as I uh, sleep here and uh, we'll get started on the build. I'm looking forward to it. So see you in just a sec.
Alrighty, so here's kind of the basic outline of what the first floor is going to look like. And it doesn't seem like anything special just yet. And that's because the roof is what really makes this build. So I actually need to go run over to the uh, dark forest over there real quick and uh, snag a bunch of wood so we can do the, uh, the roof. I was thinking a dark oak roof on this would look nice. And uh, yeah, once I got that, we'll uh, hop back into the time lapse and... Hopefully it uh, starts to come together a little bit and you kind of see the vision that I've got. So be back with you in just a moment. So hopefully, as you saw from that time lapse, uh, we're kind of getting a nice curved roof going on both the uh, the uh, very top here and on the uh, the side. So this other side will kind of curve up and meet in the middle, and then we'll have the uh, extra high little elevated bit right there. And I'm looking at this, trying to figure out. I think I need to put another bottom slab right there there for that to look right but i'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the rest of this like the walls and the rest of the roof put in and then we will join back up once the well that portion of the build is complete to uh, work on the next steps of the details so i'll be right back with you with a partially completed structure Alrighty, so been at it for a little bit and here's what we got um little bit of detailing done i ended up moving the uh cobblestone and whatnot down so it's only one block high and then doing the uh red terracotta for the three and then if we come inside all the tops of these are all spawn proof so if i want to add a uh, another another like layer above like a walking area up there at any point i can but got the sides all filled in so here's kind of what it looks like from the outside Looking pretty good so far. We can do a quick 
kind of fly by look at it and I actually am getting ready to kind of detail this bit right here we'll just kind of gradually fly around so you can get a look but yeah and then the entire uh roof here is for the most part spawn proof but what I was thinking about doing is grabbing some oak fences and some oak fence gates I'm gonna need a lot more <clears throat> excuse me a lot more of the fence gates but we'll just do some oak fence in here and then we'll go one two three actually you know what these would look better probably on the block that we're currently standing on so let's go ahead and pull those out and then right here we'll go one two bring that down like that and then we can go one two three four five and then on the six block we'll just bring those down one two three four five on the six block just continue that along four five and if i did this right this should just fit just have to make do so let's see we started i believe it was on this one no it was at this one you know what yeah we started in one okay Alrighty, so I have to make some more fences and uh, re-measure that out, but that's basically how we're going to detail the uh, top little bit right there is with the fences. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in real quick, and then we'll rejoin and we'll start getting some horses in this thing. So be right back. Okay, so we got all of the, uh, I'm not even sure what you would call those, support detailing in up at the top. Uh, managed to... Fix the issue that we were having with the uh, weird number, so I just kind of added some little sections of one right there by the middle. I think it came out looking pretty good. And then we put the uh, fence gates in the windows because, I mean, it's a, it's a barn. It's not going to have, you know, amazing glass windows on it. That wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. But anywho, so we got the whole inside now ready to go. Uh, well, not ready to go. We still got to make it look nice and make some little, you know, pens for the animals and whatnot, but I was thinking for the ground of doing a combination of podzol, coarse dirt, and path blocks. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead here and tear all the dirt out of, uh, well, actually, I guess these would have been path blocks. So let's go ahead and, I guess we'll do the path blocks first, and then kind of uh, figure out where the podzol and all that good stuff is going to go based off of off of the past. So what I think we'll do is um, oh, that's going to be frustrating. But yeah, what I think we'll do is we'll make the full width of the. Oh, hey, what do you got? Anything good? Anything good? Rooted dirt. That's kind of a pain to farm and blue orchids. I would very much like both of those. So don't you go anywhere on me. Hey, hey, get back here. Huh? All right, let's see. I wanted the rooted dirt. I'll take that. And the blue orchids. I'll take some of those. Red mushrooms. Eh. Any of these? I mean, I guess we could grab some of the pods also since we have it on hand anyways. But other than that, yeah, there's not really... 
I mean, that's kind of cool, the Guild of Blackstone, but... Mm. Alright, whatever. Good enough. Let's see if we can, uh... Make those back into some blocks. Put those back in like so. We'll just chuck our blue orchids, emeralds, and the mini blocks up in there. Put the box back. And then the rooted dirt. Maybe we can use that for the build. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just toss in there for now, though. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get, you know, this path kind of done here. And then, as you can see, I've already dug out where the actual road is or the city pathway is going to kind of continue along. So we'll just kind of wrap that around that way, wrap that around that way, and then kind of have like some dirt path action coming off here into the... onto the main road. So I think that'll look good. And that's perfect like that. And then we'll just kind of continue that through here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all pathed out. Uh, I'll probably mark out some little areas for pens. Actually, hold on. Let's see. So we'll go and grab our fences and some sticks and some planks. And then we've got a bunch of gates. So I guess we'll just make... How many does that give us? Eh. Hmm. Yeah, it should work. Okay. So yeah, and then what we can kind of do is we'll just kind of come out one, two, and then that'll be a gate, and then that'll be a gate, and then we'll just kind of, eh, you know what, let's, we're going to do these, uh, Five wide like the windows, I think it'll just look better. But, so let's see, two, three, four, five, and then this is where that would fall, like that, I guess. And then we can go to two block gap, and this will be our llama pen, I think. Yeah, and then we'll actually move that to do something like that. I think would look look pretty good. And then we can get our gaze. This wandering trader dude. Oh gosh, so annoying. Like I already have enough of those stupid llamas. I don't need more. Unless they're like a unique color, then yeah, I don't want them. But so yeah, we'll probably just do that and mirror it over here on this side and then uh, same thing over here and just have a handful of pens. That way we can separate out our uh, good horses from our not so great horses, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the floor in and get the rest of these pens put in and then we can start moving our animals. So we'll see you in just a sec. Alrighty, so I'm here in the storage room just grabbing some things, you know, we've got... I think two horses that are good enough for the, the diamond, and we'll grab one gold for the other one that's kind of eh. And then we got our saddles, so. First we'll move the horses, and then we will relocate all of the llamas. So let's go grab our horsies. And actually, I gotta get the path in, I'll do that in between episodes, because it's just more of that. But here's what the inside's looking like. I've Pretty sure it should all be lit up, but if it's not, we can add some little posts with lights dangling from the uh, edges, like above the windows or between the windows. But, yeah, just kind of did a mix of uh, coarse dirt, paths, uh, what is that, pods all. But yeah, I would say overall it came out nice, got the big piles of hay at either end, just to kind of help fill the space, make it a little more barn-like, but... We can just hop over into here, and I got jump boost luckily, so I can jump high, and that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just put a, put a lead on you. Okay, so you're pretty quick, but your jumping is not the best. So we're going to put you, we'll put you in this one. You know, let's get those closed, and then I'll just hop off. All right, so you're, I'd say, probably a B tier, but A tier for jump, so that's good. Let's go see what else we got. Let's see. I remember one of the 
round horse is being okay this one's pretty slow and his jump is not the greatest so this one eh. yeah we'll put you in the the so-so horse stable which will be this one right over here Close that and then i figured we would use this big one for the uh llamas so makes that easy let's see you still have a saddle and relatively quick jumps terrible though and eh, you know what you know you're not that bad so you're not going go on that we'll put you in this one and i want my saddle back because you're not the not the best of horses actually i'm going to come for yours too but for the time being, let's continue with the horses and see if we can figure out which one was the... Alright. Okay, yeah, this one's not good. So you're going over here. Take that. And we'll try you. Let's see. Ooh, you're slow, but your jump is... and eh, it's not the best. So we'll just go ahead and... And there you go. Got quite a few horses just from this field. It's nice. And granted, this is all of the horses, so I seem to recall this one being pretty, pretty good. Uh, what's this jump like? Yeah, uh, I mean, he's quick, but not the quickest. Uh, you know what? We'll put you in the mid-tier cage over here. So we'll grab that. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to sort out like the good horses from the not so great horses. I remember a couple of these being pretty. Pretty awesome. Oh yeah, this was one of the. Yeah, this one's. This one's good. This one's got the jump. So if we mix or breed these two, we should get a pretty decent overall horse, hopefully. But we'll try that in a future episode. Right now, I'm just gonna finish rounding up the animals and get them all in their in their pens. This one's. Yeah, your jump is not the hottest. Alright, let's go check these last couple. See what we got going on. Oh, last three. Alright, you. Oh, so slow. My goodness. Okay, yeah, you're going in the terrible tier. Can you even... There you go. Yeah, give me that. It's too bad the uh, villagers can't, like, ride the horses and stuff. That would be kind of fun to have, like, a pony ride for the uh, baby villagers. And this is a so-so tier horse. We'll plop him over here. I mean, the jump's not bad. You know what? Yeah, based on your health and your jump, you're going over here. There you go. I think we're just about done. What, one left or is there two? Oh, down to the last one. Let's see. And this is probably the quickest one so far. And a good jumper. Okay, so you're getting armored up. Sweet. Alrighty, and actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and some gold horse over on you. You'll get some, some gold. Now I'll have to come back for you. But I feel like we can use one of these chests over here. And use it to... Oh, that one had stuff in it. Of course it had stuff in it. Why would it have anything else? I mean, all this crap back in here with this one. Yeah, there we go. Let's grab that. Let's away. Trash. 
And I guess we can just throw a little chest right there and throw our saddles up in there. And then we'll put, I guess, another one at the other end. And then we just got to go grab our llamas and we'll be donezos. Just chuck that there and let's go grab some llamas. And then, like I said, I'll clean up all this and fix the past between episodes. But I figured we would get the transportation of the animals just because... That's always fun, because they're always oh so cooperative moving mobs in, in Minecraft. So let's see, we got a handful of them over here. And I believe if I've got one of them on lead, so we'll grab you. And then we'll put you on a lead. And then we will undo those. And I believe they should, most of them should follow. First one of them has to be on a... Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. And now we'll just convoy them along. I mean, I guess I could go get their... No, I'm not going to push my luck. Let's just get these guys back to... Back to the barn. Everybody coming? Yep, single file. Good stuff. Welcome to your new home. And we'll put some of you in this one. Everybody in. Come on. Okay, so we got you and you. Get those back. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go and grab the last llamas here and then we will uh, meet back up and have a look at everything. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so we got all of our animals conveniently tucked away in the barn. Everything's looking good. We got our good horses over there, some of our llamas over here, some more over there, just because they kind of herd together. We'll have to sort through those and see what kind of storage we got on on them, because um, you can put a chest on these guys, and some of them can actually carry quite a bit, so might have to look into that, but... Yep, got everything all taken care of, got the barn all finished. Uh, maybe we'll come in and add some details or a second story at a later date, but for now, I think I think it's good to go. So, I think that's where we're going to call the episode for today. Thanks for watching, as always. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, love reading those. Uh, get subscribed, hit the bell button so you're notified every time a new video comes out. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon. All of them are at IggyHaxer, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.